everyone and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can safely trim your video footages without using uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve or uh, Premiere Pro or other uh, high-end software and without losing any of the quality of the original footage. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, here we are on my screen and on this folder I have all a bunch of videos that I would like to trim. Um, I have uh, several ways to go about it and one of them to, is to use the built-in uh, uh, Windows Photo and so to do that I can just open the file, put on pause so we are not bothered by the sound. Now you go on the top on, on the bottom right uh, uh, corner and click on edit photo so if you if what you want to do is to trim just go and click on trim and then this will basically open windows photo um, so here we, you have uh, uh, the timeline with three handles so the blue handle is basically the current time and then you have the left as well as the right handle which will allow you to to basically trim the beginning and the end of the video. That's pretty much all, all you're allowed to do with this uh, software. So when you're done, you click on save a copy and that will take some time. Uh, this clip is uh, less than a minute long and now you can notice how long it's taking in order to actually process the, the video. All right. Once we are done, we can close. And as you can see, now we have a copy of the same video, which is this one, the uh, 210403 is the same. So now the problem is that this could be okay for regular users, but uh, if you're intending to then throw this inside of a video editing software, you would like to retain as much as quality as possible so all of the attributes of the original footage you want them to be available when you edit it and if we go now right click properties and we check the details uh, now um, you will most probably not find this media tab in your computer this is a software a plugin that i've installed i will put the link in the description below you will normally find the details tab but i will first show you with the details tab and then i will go over to the media tab so that i can show you uh some of the other attributes that are being edited through the uh software okay i will also open the properties of the original video let me okay let me take them now side by side so let's go both of them to the details so something that you can already notice is that the bit rate have, have dropped drastically so as you can see on my original footage i had a 38000 kilobyte per second and now i have uh 26000 kilobit per second okay but that's not the only thing as you can see also here we can also notice the bitrate of your of audio of our audio okay now if we go under to the uh media tab okay we can now see a whole bunch of differences uh from the original video so one of them bang if i remember correctly uh, so the overall bitrate, as you can see, 38 versus 27. Then what else we can see? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Formatting, advanced video, advanced video. The pixels are unchanged. The bitrate, again, it's changed here. And I just don't find this the frame rate for some reason it's not listed yeah here you have all the information about the frame rate the maximum and the minimum frame rate 
8 bit so this this part is actually missing here as information uh, progressive beats pixel times frame is 0 0.108 versus 0 0.152 stream size is 111 megabytes this is 222 megabytes uh, yeah as you can see many attributes are actually missing from the edited file the audio as well we have already seen that we have uh, dropped from 256 to 192 in bitrate the channels remain the same uh, the frame per second remain the same then the stream size uh, is not even available oh no it's here so that that have dropped from 151 to uh, 825 and I mean you got the idea you have uh, uh, attribute not existing anymore in the in the video and you also have uh, bit rates which means quality drops all right I will now uh, show you a software which will enable you to do uh, to trim your video and to all actually do uh, more things with it so this is called lossless cut lossless cut it's a portable software that means that it doesn't require installation it's an executable file that you can just execute so loss I have it already in my computer so execute that's gonna take a fraction of a second it will launch okay now uh, we can drop in the the file that we would like to work with so we'll take the same video and now we can come we can play so we can actually see uh, right, the guys. footage and we can actually drop the cursor wherever we want so where we want to cut you come on the bottom corner here and it says split segmented cursor okay and then for instance you want to chop the hand and then split segmented cursor then what you can do you can put the cursor between the colored area and then you click minus and that's basically removing the part then you click minus and it's removing the part now uh, on the Windows built-in software you could only take the beginning and the hand section of the video out of it uh, here you can basically uh, take anything out so if I want to take a random section in between I'll apply to split to cut and then I will remove the middle so as you can see now we have this orange section and this green section okay now I can click on export and merge so by default the two section will also be merged which is something that you might want to do or if you want you can say you want the merge plus the separate file or just separate files so in my case I will go with the default merge cuts so export merge and boom that's it so the 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 speed of it lets you understand that in the background there are no processes apart from actually chopping the original binary file and now when I'm opening um, the file which is this cut merge it's also giving you the timestamp so from which time to which time from which time to which time and it's also giving you a comma separated value file with uh, the timestamp of uh, uh, our splitting uh, points so if I now check the properties of this file over here I will go to the media tab I uh, will see if yes the other remained open uh, let me see which one is there we go so this is now the original one this is now the one trimmed through the lossless cut uh, software and this is the one trimmed through the windows built-in software okay now at first glance you can see straight away the bitrate it's practically unchanged okay then what else it's actually unchanged um, you get all the attribute that you had earlier 
okay so the codec uh, once again the bitrate over here the the frame rate variable as you can see you get it here you didn't have on the other uh, one so 30 frames per second 23.77 so everything is pretty much unchanged 8 bits 8 bits then the bits over pixel times frame is 152 152 while here was dropped to 108 and so on and so forth and you got the idea so basically there are minor variation which i'm not sure what they are for but what the software uh does is it's taking the file and it's literally chopping the binary that's there is no processing whatsoever there is no compression there is no codec change there is nothing else than just cutting removing part of the binary from the from the file and that's how you do it now you got uh, your uh, trimmed footage which take less space which uh, has dropped the parts of the footage that you actually uh, didn't want it and you can also input it in a video editing software and you can work with it without any problem all right guys that's all okay so as you could see uh this software lossless cut it's uh it's truly working and uh, uh we were able to tell this by the properties of the video uh, this is by far the only software among the few that i've been uh, tr testing that it's really working and it's uh, preserving the quality of your original footage. Other than that, uh, the software has uh, little if not even zero learning curve and that's because the interface is uh, straightforward. And the other thing that is also good is that uh, it will uh, enable you to also merge part of the same video which might be something that you want to do or you can act, you can eventually export the uh, uh, the different sections as a different clips um i'll put in the description below the website where you can download the lossless cut as well as uh, the media tab that i've used which is this plugin that uh, enables you to see the properties of uh, media files and let me know in the description below if there is uh, any other software that you believe uh, will work uh, better and it's simple to use and it's also free like lossless cut okay guys so i hope you enjoyed the video if you find this helpful click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now